Hey guys, welcome back. What you're looking at here is my Model 99, and it's a hand crank. I converted that over, it used to be electric. And I'm gonna compare this machine today to my Model 28 hand crank. As you can see, both machines have a stitch length knob only. There is no reverse. And this machine is a 1904, so it has the um, upper thread tension release with a thumb, okay? So it doesn't release the tension when you lift that presser foot. But they're both hand crank, they're both three quarter machines, and they both have a stitch length knob with no reverse. So I thought I'd compare the 28 against the 99 and see if either one of them have a longer stitch and let you know what one I would keep if I could only keep one. Okay guys, that I get you in here nice and close and uh, this is the 99, get that needle set down in there. And I got the stitch length knob set to the longest stitch, so uh, let's do a run. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go halfway down, and then I'm going to bring that stitch length knob out and do a finer stitch. Just to compare what a fine stitch would look like as well. I'll count how many turns out I turn that knob. So there you go. There's the 99. This machine runs so smooth. You guys get a chance. Don't let it discourage you um, not having reverse because these 99s are really nice machines. So there you go. There's some fine, like look at that fine stitch there. Isn't that nice? I actually made a uh, sheath for uh, my toolman out of the same leather using this 99. So uh, it sewed through two layers of, of this leather. So a little hard to see on the back stitch. But you guys will have to trust me when I compare. Anyways, there you go. That's the 99. Let me get the 28. Okay, guys. So uh, here we are with the Model 28. Get that needle down in there and let's give her a go. I got that stitch length set at the longest stitch and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring this all the way down and then I'm going to turn it in right there. I'm bringing that out. Right there. Okay. there you go it's the 28 this machine I uh, used parts from a 1936 model 128 so let's take a look at those there's the 28 there's the finer stitch now it looks like I was off probably uh, a half a turn there I did count them but there's no exact measurement. That's the thing with the stitch length knob, right? You gotta remember, if you're gonna be using the, uh, let me get my camera adjusted here. The knob here, there's no indication on how long your stitches are. So you pretty much just have to trial and error. It's always good to go on a, a fabric and do practice piece if you wanna try for your stitch length. But there's no way to lock that in on a uh, exact number. So you would have to count your turns, and that's the only downside to the stitch length knob. But other than that, machines look great. The stitches are amazing. Let's see if you can see the back there. 1904. Look at how good the stitches are on that. Isn't amazing. Anyways, uh, let me get these machines set up, and I'll let you guys know if I could only keep one. What one would I keep? This is going to be a tough one, guys, because I love hand cranks, and I love all my machines. All right, give me a second. Okay, guys, so here you are looking at the two machines. And I have took a look at the stitch length on both of these. And to tell you the truth, it is very, 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 very close. If anything, I'd say the 99 is a slight bit longer. But, guys, yeah, the quality... It is there. They're both the same. You can just see 
how good that uh, vibrating shuttle runs. The vibrating shuttle is the one with the, the white thread there. And uh, look at that. Look at the stitch on that. That's why these vibrating shuttle machines don't uh, get discouraged because they're an old machine, guys. If, if the bobbin case is there and the bobbin's there, pick one up, tune it up, oil it. You'll be quite amazed. So when it comes to the quality, I'd say both these machines are the same. But when it comes to what one I would keep, if I could only keep one, I'd have to say the 99 would stay in the collection. Only because the drop-in bobbin is really easy to get to, and there's no bobbin case that comes out with it. On the vibrating shuttle, you have a, uh, a bobbin case and a bobbin. So there you have it, guys. My choice. The 99 beat out the 28. 28 had a good go, didn't it, guys? <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned and stay safe, guys. I'll talk to you soon. So guys, this is the last chance to send in those pictures. If you want that uh, zigzagger for a slanted machine, send me a picture of your slanted machine, guys. If you want it. I don't have many people who sent me new their pictures back, so the contest is getting really slim right now. Anyways gonna happen real soon guys a couple more days and I'll let you know who the winner is but for now beat it <laughs>